Guys, GetSoral.com is what companies use to quickly find a list of influencers to promote their brand. Yash built this. They're doing $34,000 per month in revenue. He's a sole founder, owns 100%, got his first customer back in December of 2022 using Apollo to build an email list, LinkedIn Sales Navigator to focus on uh, influencer marketing managers at e-commerce brands, and ultimately reached out with Loom videos, Figma screenshots, et cetera, to get 15 minutes on their calendar to land his first five pre-sold paying customers. Again, scaling nicely, profiting $10,000 per month with, with his team of six as he looks to scale. Hey folks, my guest today is Yash Shivan. He's a marketer at heart who dropped out of engineering college to work in sales and eventually fell in love with growing companies, SaaS companies at his agency. Today, he's working on a company called GetSoral.com. It's an influencer marketing platform for e-commerce brands. Yash, you ready to take us to the top? Yes, Nathan. Two years ago, I read your book. I wish oh, no. you liked being on the show. So <laughs> here I am. Let's That's awesome. We're thrilled yep. to have you. Well, so why'd you, yep. why'd you choose influencer marketing for e-commerce brands in terms of, you know, your first, your first SaaS company? This is a tough space. Influencers come and go. Churn is tricky. It's sort of a marketplace yeah. problem as well. Yeah. So we're not building a marketplace. We're building a search engine, which is fundamentally different from most other like influencer platforms on the market. And the reason why I started this was because we were doing influencer marketing for some brands and we found that the whole process of like, if an e-commerce brand wants to work with an influencer, they got to like find them, they got to contact them, they got to send them a contract, they got to figure out a way to track when they post affiliate link, shipping products, all of that is very um, clunky and expensive if you use a software or a bunch of software to do it or extremely time consuming if you do it manually. So Saral basically like simplifies this process and brings it, brings it under one roof. So yeah. I see. So if someone's listening yep. right now and they want to launch yep. uh, a certain product and they're looking for influencers in the uh, fitness space, they could go to yep. getsaral.com and look up, type the word fitness and you'll give them a list of Correct. influencers. Correct. Yes. At what point do you make money? We make money. We are SaaS subscription. So we make money based on, we have a SaaS subscription, which comes with a certain number of influencers. Um, and if they need more influencers than that limit, they got to pay more. So we have that uh, expansion revenue as well. So yeah. I see. I see. Okay. So what does the average company pay you per month to use your, use your influencer search engine? Um, 299 a month. 299? Yes. That's great. How would you come up with that price point? Um, so we started at, so story when i started um again so dane maxwell is one of my mentors so i pre-sold the software to five people at 99 bucks before i wrote the first line of code before we wrote the first line of code so i was like okay 99 is the base price um and my offer was you will get two months of the software if you pay me for one month so we just like spitballed 99 to be honest and then slowly we started increasing it so when we launched we made it we launched at 99 in a couple of months we made it 150 a couple of months we made it um, 199, then we like increased it to 299. We saw relatively, in, in fact, we saw higher quality customers come in, the higher our price point went. And then, so that's why we settled on 299. So, yeah. That's great. Yash, when did you yeah. land that first paying customer? What month? Um, that was in December of last year. December, so December 2022. 2022. Yep. That's great. And then fast forward to today, how many customers total? 103. That's amazing. Okay. So 103 customers paying 299 a month. Is that right? Correct. Congrats. Okay. That's 30,000 yeah. bucks of monthly recurring revenue, yeah. right? Actually 34, because there are some bigger brands that use us, um, who are doing, they want like, they want to reach out to 2000 influencers a month. So they are on a slightly higher package. Like I said, the expansion. So it's mm -hmm. 34, but yeah. That makes tons of sense. Walk yeah. us through how you, you know, a lot of founders struggle that, you know, they spend a year writing code and then they realize nobody wants to buy their software. Where did you find yeah. those first five customers you pre-sold? Yeah. It was pretty just like do, doing things that don't scale, reaching out on LinkedIn to people who were doing influencer marketing and saying, like, hey, I'm looking to build this software. And I just said, hey, um, do you have pain? Um, I'm building software that solves this for persona. Um, would you mind hopping on a 15 minute call to review it? Or I send you to send them a Loom video of like Figma mockups saying, hey, like, what do you think? Would this be useful? And people shared feedback with me and then we actually refined the product in the Figma MVP stage before we even like hired a programmer or whatever. So yeah, that's very cool. Okay, how did yeah. you? What did you search on LinkedIn to find the persons to send the cold messages to? Yeah, influencer. So that's our core user, which is an influencer marketing manager at an e-commerce brand. Um, so we just reached out to those people, saying, and I sent thousands of cold emails as well. So it's like um, I sent cold emails saying, "Hey, we're launching the software. I'm not looking to sell you anything." Um, I just need feedback. Would you be open? Um, and people were surprisingly um, open to it. So, yeah. 
Oh, what's going on there, YouTube? Good to see you guys. Now imagine this. You love watching these interviews with SaaS founders, but imagine if we took all of the valuation data out from over 2,807 interviews I've done manually. Saves you a lot of time. Well, we've done this. We've built it into the beautiful interface inside of FounderPath. Check this out. I'll show you how you can access this in a second, but you log in, you connect your Stripe account, you see your valuation real time, you can see what it changed over the past 88 days, and even set goals for valuation this year. Now, the secret valuation is there's many different ways to value a SaaS business. So the reason you're going to see three or four different valuations inside of your FounderPath dashboard, this is all free, by the way, is because depending on who's doing the buying of your SaaS company, you're going to get a different valuation. A VC is going to pay a different valuation. Private equity firm is different. If you're going to do a minority sale, that's different. And if you sell the whole business, that's a different valuation. You can see all those when I hover over here. All right, so the teal is what a VC would pay, yellow is what private equity, and red is if you sold the whole thing outright. Now, what's cool about this is this is not built off random data. Again, you guys hear these interviews on YouTube. All these data are built from real-time valuation data points founders share with us on the show. So traction, 1.2 million, seed round, 3.7 raise, they sold 22% of their business. Go in here and filter by the event. Maybe you only want to see companies that have sold the whole business. Well, here are a bunch that have been acquired, the valuation and the multiple. Maybe you're going out right now and you're raising your seed round. Well, go in here and look at all this recent seed deals that went down, what they raised, what valuation they raised at, and what percent that they sold. There's never been a larger data set of SaaS valuations than what you can get now inside of FounderPath, and we're thrilled to bring it to you. All right, we're going to go back to the YouTube video here in a second, but if you want to check this tool out, if you want to jump in and sign up, you can check it out for free to get your valuation at this link, this link, founderpath.com forward slash products forward slash valuations, or if you go to founderpath.com and hover over products, click on get your valuation here and go ahead and sign up to give it a whirl. Again, all that valuation data live right inside the platform. I hope to see you there. All right, let's jump back into the interview. Sticking with LinkedIn, and then we'll go to your cold email strategy for a second. Sure. So w what button are you pushing on LinkedIn to find only e-commerce companies? And then what button are you pushing after you get that company list to find only the influencer marketing manager at the company? Yeah, in Sales Navigator, there's a filter, I think it's the retail filter or something you can use to find e-commerce brands and you can type in the keyword e-commerce. You can look at hashtags on LinkedIn as well. So if someone's posting about hashtag influencer marketing, very likely they're in the uh, influencer marketing space or hashtag e-commerce marketing, see who's posting. Those are content creators, which means they're also engaged because LinkedIn has a lot of leads, but they're not on LinkedIn. Like they don't, they log in once a month. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty useless reaching out to those people. So reach out to people who are actually actively posting, commenting, um, things like that. So yeah. Did you give any, you know, I understand reaching out saying you have a new product. Yeah. Are you open to yeah. help on a 15 minute call? Here's a loom video yeah. as a tease. Did you give them any yeah. incentive for their time? No, I mean, time is valuable. Did you say take the call and I'll give you a free year or something? Uh, I didn't say free year. I did add a line. I think I heard Jason Cohen say this. Like, um, I said something like, I'm happy to pay you for your time. Um, if you're, if you're open to just chatting and, but nobody took my money and they yeah. gave me money. So yeah. <laughs> okay. No one. Yeah. That's very cool. Um, yep. all right. So, and then now let's pivot over to the cold emails for a second. So yeah. first off, what tool did you use to send them? Was it a reply.io send grid, something else? It was instantly. Okay. Instantly. Yeah. They're crushing yep. it. I hear yeah, Okay, so yeah. instantly is what you use. Were you happy with them? Yeah, pretty good. It's a good tool. Okay. How did you get the cold email list to put into instantly? Uh, I think it was Apollo or I think sales that one of, one of those sources, Apollo sales. Nav. I had subscriptions for, um, for these tools. So yeah. What does sales navigator cost you? I think it's like 50 bucks or something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Cool. And then, uh, okay. Got it. So what did you search? And we already know sales navigator, how I used it. What did you search in Apollo yep. to build a cold email list? Um, same thing. So I actually targeted different personas. I went after founders of e-com brands saying, hey, is influencer marketing even something you're looking at doing? Why haven't you done it yet? Because everyone was, if I just gave you a hundred influencers, you would like, it's like, hey, e-commerce brand, here's a hundred influencers who are ready to promote you. Everyone's going to say yes to that. So what's the friction? Like, why aren't you doing it? So I figured that out speaking with founders and then obviously speaking to influencer marketing managers or just marketing people in e-com in general, asking them what their pains were while they were doing influencer marketing. So they shared, this main feedback was around two bits. There were people who were using some enterprise source. Space is very like 
I think it's typical of the SaaS space when uh, in, it's a kind of like a mature industry where there's some companies that were started in 2013, 2015, built for that market. And they're priced at like $20,000, $30,000 a year paid upfront annually. And newer modern brands don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to pay 30K without even a free trial. Yeah. So I wanted to build something that was the startup. Um, SMB friendly equivalent. So we offer a free trial. We are transparent with our pricing. We don't force people to hop on three sales calls and all of that. So all these were pain points that I discovered. So the pain points are not just in terms of the product, but also in terms of. Excuse me. Bless you. Um, the pain points are not just in terms of the product, but also in terms of the business model, for example. So like, hey, I don't want to hop on three sales calls. Well, here's a free trial and so on. So like I discovered all of these things. Yeah. This makes tons of sense. Okay. When yep. you launch the business, uh, you're, you're sole founder, you have a co founder. Solo founder. That's awesome. So you still have 100% yep. today? Correct. That's awesome. Any plans yep. to raise or you want to bootstrap? Uh, I actually applied to Tiny Seed twice before. They rejected me. So we were at like three, 800 MRR. They rejected 3000 MRR. They rejected. Now at 32K, I applied like a couple of weeks back. And now they're like, yeah, we're excited. So I'm speaking to Rob Walling tomorrow. So I don't know how that's going to go. But I think that they're, it's going to be undervalued. So we're likely not going to go with them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's see. I'm. I very likely want to raise for some like hiring and growth purposes, but I don't want to go the VC route. But yeah. we'll see like if I just hit 60, 70 K MRR in a couple of months, then I can just bear the brunt and not raise. What so, do you yeah. think tiny seed will value the business at? What, like what's their typical they, offer? They give, so they invest 120 K to 250 K for a 10 to 12%. Um, and I assume given our revenue, they'll give us um, 250 K for a 10%, um, mm -hmm. which will be 2.5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what I want to do. That's a 5x multiple on your current ARR or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it worth, so I mean, is that worth the dilution to you or how do you think about that? No, I, I don't want to give up 10% for 250K because I, I just, I know my numbers will be at 50K by end of year. Mm -hmm. So at 50K, then I don't need the, I don't upfront need 250K anyway, right? It's not like 250K. It's, even if I get the 250K, I'm probably going to spend it 10K at a time. So yeah. if I'm at 50K, I don't need the 250. So yeah, unless yeah. someone's like a strategic investor or some of our brands are bigger brands, like eight, nine figure companies who are using Saral. Some of those founders are interested in me and the tool in general. So they're like, hey, if you're ever raising, just I'll write an angel check. So if mm -hmm. I ever need money, I can just raise from my customers. So, yeah. Have you have you identified any other capital sources besides Tiny Seed and besides traditional VC? No, I haven't really looked at the VC model um, or raising money yet, just focused on the product. But right now we're having some friction in the model. Uh, with just like, I think I need more people to do some support onboarding, that sort of stuff for which I need more money. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just like getting into that world. Yeah. But yeah. How, how much money would you need over the next three months to make this, these one or two hires that you mentioned? Probably like, I don't know, not much, maybe for three months, probably like 30 K 50 K around that. Mm -hmm. So somewhere, I guess if someone looked at your current 103 paid customers, right. That pay you mm -hmm. 299 a month. And they, mm -hmm. you know, and they expect those customers to keep paying two ninety nine per month based off your historical yep. churn values. And they offered to basically pull that cash forward for you and give you thirty k today. Is that a kind of structure you'd look at? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd consider it. <laughs> I see what you're doing, Nathan. You're good at this. <laughs> just curious. Just curious. Hey, re real recognize real. Yeah, yeah. Just, just curious. We, uh, I mean, yeah. I, I, I I'll consider it. No, I, I genuinely consider it. Yeah, I, I spent I spent years, you know, thinking about what is the right product structure for founders like with like with your mindset, right? Yeah, you want to keep equity. And that's why we launched yep. founder path. So, okay, yes, very sir. cool. Yep. Well, congrats yep. on the growth. Um, talk to me more Thank about you. the full team size today. How many full time? Um, six people, six people. Okay, and profitable? Yep. Or are you burning? Profitable? Can I ask how much? Um, make it roughly about 10 K it depends because I reinvest a little bit in like I, every bit dollar I make, I reinvest in marketing. So we are profitable at 20 K for example, yeah. but then every, every like 5 K increment we have, I'm reinvesting in, um, people I'm reinvesting in marketing. So we're intentionally low profitable, but like we are making 5 K, 8 K profit, sometimes 10 K depending on the month. So yeah. I love that. This is a great story. Let's wrap up yep. here. Yash with the famous five, number one, favorite Let's business book. It. Her business book, hundred million dollar offers. Yeah, Hermosis, yeah. that's a good one. Number yes, two, is there, a, is there a CEO you're following or studying? I'm going to name three, the three B's of bootstrapping, Becker, Brunson, and Berry. <laughs> um, who's, the, who's the last one actually? Uh, Nathan Berry. Oh, Berry, Nathan Berry, yep. yeah. yeah. Um, number three, what's your favorite online tool for building the company? Um, Close.io, CRM. Yep, number four, yep. how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Six, six okay. hours. Situation, yeah. married, single kids? 
single, no kids running around yet. <laughs> All right. How old are you? I am 24. 24. Last question. Something you wish you knew when you were 20. Um, I guess I was very impatient. I, I, I guess I'm st- I still am. I, like, I want things to be done now, now, now. But then I guess like if I were, I were to give myself some of like just be patient, keep showing up and things will happen. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Guys, GetSoral.com is what companies use to quickly find a list of influencers to promote their brand. Yash built this. They're doing $34,000 per month in revenue. He's a sole founder, owns 100%, got his first customer back in December of 2022 using Apollo to build an email list, LinkedIn Sales Navigator to focus on uh, influencer marketing managers at e-commerce brands, and ultimately reached out with Loom videos, Figma screenshots, et cetera, to get 15 minutes on their calendar to land his first five pre-sold paying customers. Again, scaling nicely, profiting $10,000 per month with, with his team of six as he looks to scale. Yash, thanks for taking us to the top. All right. This is great. Thanks, Nathan. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live and the founder shares backend dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at NathanLacka.com forward slash Slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right. I'll be in the comments. See ya.